Face the Nation moderator and CBS News political director John Dickerson is with us from Washington. John, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Well, Hillary Clinton was fierce, she was forceful, and she went after Bernie Sanders talking about an artful smear, attacks by insinuation. Will it work or was it risky? Well, that was very interesting. I mean, she's right, essentially. Bernie Sanders' argument is that she is compromised by all the money and donations she gets. Now, the question is, does it make political sense for her to do that? It showed her being forceful and fierce. But what do regular people hear when they hear somebody gets a lot of money from a certain industry? They think maybe there's a connection there. And so is it really a smear for Sanders to bring that up? Or is he saying simply that because of the donations, she won't go as far as he will? That's something we'll have to find out in the coming days. But by making this attack, she's sort of hanging a lamp on this issue, and it'll keep getting talked about. And the question is whether it being in the conversation is very good for her. Bernie Sanders at some point seemed stunned, but on the other hand, he also didn't take it lying down. What are voters in New Hampshire saying about how he did last night? Well, I haven't, I haven't talked to a lot of them overnight, but um, the, the, uh, his, basically, he's so on message, and the argument is basically that he will go farther than she will because he is not compromised by those donations. Uh, so I think that basically they both were forceful advocates for their positions. Right now, those positions in New Hampshire are helping Bernie Sanders. John, there was a huge debate last night over the definition of the word progressive. This from a party that once struggled to avoid the word liberal. What's going on here exactly? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> well, it's who is who's got the real, true religion, uh, and uh, uh, Hillary Clinton was was um, quite artful in her response to that. Uh, it seems to me if you were trying to outdo the other on who is who is more faithful to the cause, you would just stand up and say, "Hey, I'm a liberal," because as you say, that is really the word that many who believe in those sets of ideas still uh, hold on to and think there's nothing wrong about that and, and want to be proud about it. Uh, but they were basically trying to put each other in the corner. Uh, and that was a really interesting exchange, essentially about what's at the heart of this race. Who is truer to the cause? All right, John Dickerson, we have to leave it there. Before we go, I don't know if you've heard, but I have a big interview on Super Bowl Sunday with <laughs> yes, the Obamas. Indeed. Do you have a one word of advice, John Dickerson? I'm listening oh, with both ears. Just be yourself, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John. Oh, you didn't buy that? No, I need a little bit more than that, John Dickerson. I will call you later. <laughs> thank, you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, I don't know how to be anybody else. Thank you very much, John Dickerson. And Thanks, John, Gail. by the way, will interview Senator Sanders for this weekend's Face a Nation. That's Sunday right here on CBS.